Hello everyone, welcome to Lecture Maker Training Module. In this module, you will learn how to create an e-learning content having an interactive activity by using Lecture Maker's Click and Show function. This interactive Click and Show function is one of the special features of Lecture Maker. Now let's begin. First, before I show you how to create an interactive activity, let me show you what interactive content or activity is. In this slide, you can see four buttons on the left-hand side and then a larger box or frame on the right-hand side. Once you click on each box, there will be a corresponding image or file which will appear right beside it. So let's run the slide to see what I am talking about. Click on the image button and then an image will appear. Click on the text button and then a text or a group of text will appear. Click on the audio button and then you will hear an audio. Click on the video button and a video will appear. So every time that you click a certain button, there will be a corresponding feedback or response. Now that is the essence of having an interactive activity in e-learning, which is specially provided by the click and show function of Lecture Maker. Now let's start creating an interactive activity. Create a new slide. Go to the Insert tab on your menu bar. Click on Button and then click on the General button. Go to your slide and then drag your cursor to where you want to position your button and to how you want the size of your button to appear. You can see on the right hand side of your screen under the object list, the button which you have inserted. Go to your menu bar and then click on text box button. Write a text that you would like to show when you click on the button. You can insert a text, an image, an audio or a video or anything you want for your interactive content, but for now, Let's try using text first. When we run the slide, you can see both the button and the text. What we want to do is to hide the text and show it when we have clicked on the button. So to do that, let's go back to our main slide. Go to the object list. Right click on the object text box and then click on hide object. A window will appear. Remember that the text box which you want to hide will be hidden in the name hide. You can change the hide name if you want but for this time let's just leave it as hide. Click OK. Run the slide again. Now you can see that your text box has been hidden but if you click on the button the text box or the text that you would like to show does not appear. Now to do that, let's go back to the main slide again. Double click the button and then on your menu bar under the Format tab, you can see Go to Specific Slide button. Click on the arrow button. From here, you can see a list of various ways on how you would like your images or text respond when clicking on the button. Since we would like to show the hidden text which we have previously made, we need to select on the Show Hidden Object. Now a window will appear. If you remember, you have hidden your text under the Hide name. So click on the Hide, then click on OK. Now let's run the slide again. Click on the button 
and now you can show the text which you have hidden. You can see that a response has occurred when you have clicked on the button. So that is all for your click and show function. Now you can start creating your own interactive activity or content by yourself using Lecture Maker. For more details on Lecture Maker, please visit our website at www.darylsoft.com.